Hey guys, welcome back to my song room. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to take your paper patterns and put them into the computer and turn them into digitized patterns. So if you're interested in learning how to digitize your sewing patterns using Adobe Illustrator, then stay tuned. Okay, so here I am just showing you guys how I like to take, take the picture of my pattern piece. So I lay it flat onto the table onto my cutting mat that has uh, grid lines on it so that when I put it into the computer, I have reference for size. If you don't have a cutting mat, you can just draw a two inch line on the pattern piece and that'll be just fine. So here I have it uh, uploaded into Adobe Illustrator. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to lock the layer that has the picture on it. And then I'm going to create a new layer. Now, obviously, if you're doing this, you wanna have some knowledge of Adobe Illustrator or all of everything that I'm doing is gonna be pretty foreign. So if you guys don't have any knowledge of Adobe Illustrator, there are a lot of tutorials here on YouTube that will teach you guys how to use it. Now, I am drawing, uh, I'm taking line two and I'm gonna draw a straight two inch line so that we can use that to scale up our picture so that we know that our picture is the proper scale. So the first thing I'm gonna do is rotate the picture so that the lines on the picture are straight with the line that I drew just to make sure that the two inches that we're measuring are um, the correct scale. Uh, once we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and color that line red so that I can see it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scale up the image. Okay, so once we have that done, I'm just going to take that little line that we drew and I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And then I'm gonna recenter that picture right into the middle of my artboard, just so that it's a little bit more clean to work on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my pen tool and I'm going to draw a straight line. It's easy to draw a straight line when you just click and then click again at the middle and hold shift. And that that's how you draw a straight line. So I'm gonna draw a straight line, kind of the length of my, um, my pattern piece and then I'm going to uh, click on the pattern once again and then I'm going to rotate it so that the straight line of the center front is straight with the line that we drew After I have straightened my pattern piece, now I'm gonna go ahead and outline it. So I'm just gonna take the pen tool and I'm going to outline the whole pattern piece. I cut off my little dart there, but I know uh, where it's supposed to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just guesstimate that. But obviously you want it to be as exact as possible. And when you get to the curves, you kind of just click and drag and you can create nice curves using the pen tool. I'm just gonna take that and outline the whole pattern piece. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to uh, choose my artboard tool and I'm going to just make my artboard bigger so that my whole image fits into my artboard. And I'm gonna use the eyeball tool to uh, toggle on and off the actual photo layer to make sure that my bias block matches up to the actual photo. And it does. 
and then I'm going to double click onto the outer lines and I'm going to uh, do an offset. I don't know why I didn't show my menu here, but you go to object path, offset path, and then when you go to offset path, you put in your seam allowance. So it'll be, since we already have a seam allowance on the pattern, it'll be negative one centimeter, which is 0.393. And I'm just going to lock that layer back up and then add another layer. And on the, the new layer, I'm going to draw in my apex little plus sign. So I'm just going to use the line tool to create a plus sign. And then I'm going to use the circle tool to create the little circle that goes around the plus sign. Okay, so now that we have our pattern piece all made up, I'm gonna import my logo. And I just imported it into a different file. And then I'm going to just copy and paste the logo into the um, the file with the pattern piece. And then you just wanna, to kind of make it smaller, I guess, and center it onto your pattern uh, wherever you see fit. And then you also wanna write your pattern information, like what pattern it's for, the size it is, um, how much you want to cut and what piece it actually it actually is And also since this piece is the bodice block that is made for the front, I also want to uh, notate here that there's no seam allowance on the front. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my pen tool, or I'm sorry, my direct selection tool. And I'm just gonna uh, move that little part of the seam allowance over to hit the center front and then readjust the curve with that little handle just so that I know that there's no seam allowance there at the center front. And then I'm going to use the line tool to draw at my grain line. Since this is the center front, it's gonna be cut on fold. So I like to draw a little line and put two little stumps on both ends of the line. And then I use the star tool and use the, uh, the up and down arrows. I go down until there are three sides, which makes a triangle. And then I just put a triangle on either side of those little, the arrow parts so that we know that this part is cut on the fold. Okay, and now it's time to get ready to print. I'm not sure exactly why it didn't show my print menu, but I'm just gonna let you know what the steps are. Okay, so you wanna go to file and then print. And then when you get the print dialog menu, you wanna either select your printer or you wanna select Adobe, Printi Adobe PDF or Adobe um, Microsoft Print to PDF. Once you've done that, then you wanna go down to where it says options and then you want to click on visible layers because some layers may be locked like the layer of the picture and you don't want uh, that to be shown when you're printing. And then you go down where it says scaling and then you want to click on the imageable, the imageable areas and then click done. And that will show you, um, it should bring up all the tiles, the print tiles that you have, but if not, um, when you're out of that menu, you go to Windows, or I'm sorry, you go to View. You go to View, and then you go to Show Print Tiling, and that should bring up all the little lines that'll show you where the different pages are. And in order for you guys to line up your pattern pieces once they are printed out, I just like to take the circle tool, and I hold Shift to make sure that it's a perfect circle. And I just drag out a little circle and color it in black, and I put that where all of the page um, breaks are, so that when you print it out, you can line it up perfectly. Let's <laughs> go. 
thank you guys so much for watching my video if you like this video make sure to check out some of these other videos and i'll see you in my next one